My hair hasn't started. Hey, ninjas and roses. So. Take two. What's up, ninjas and roses? That was weird. No, Take but... three. You know something? Which one? You can't read this one because there's a gap there. Yeah, I know. Get that. I'm good. I got one. That's love, y'all. Welcome to Ninja and the Rose, where, where we, we make, make the rules. rules. We talk to you guys about relationship, business, getting that sh money, lifestyle shit, exactly. everything, everything. And we want to talk today about something we get asked about all the time. All the time. All the, all the time. time. All the time? All the time. All the time. Pete. For a decade. So, we've been dating for 10 years. And everybody it's a long time, y'all. Everybody should be clapping for us right now. <laughs> Cue claps. <laughs> um, and everyone's asking, oh, when are you guys going to get married? Oh, why haven't you gotten married yet? Why don't you have a Friends, ring on it? Family. And Strangers. You know, we have we have Everyone. our reasons, so we're going to bring them to you right now. Yeah. Wow. Boom. Yeah. Because everybody asks about it, so it's like, we want to let y'all know about it, so you don't have to ask us about it anymore, right? We're going to be like, oh, go watch the video. So how do you want to do this now? Do you want to you want to go back and forth for reasons and stuff, or what do you want to do? I feel like in our relationship, our reasons are aligned a lot. I think people have the presumption that we don't talk about it, because I think a lot of people don't talk about it in their relationship. But for us, we're really on the same page about a lot of right, shit. Right, like, right. we get grief from people in our family about like, oh, he's going to leave you, she's going to leave you if yeah, you don't put a right, ring on it. It's like, right. what you think? We haven't had the, the conversation. Right, 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 right. And, I, and I think that's like number one, though. You have to be on on the same page. Because totally. It's like... Or else they are going to leave your ass. Right. <laughs> or if you fuck around and spring up that question and... The other person says no. no how not are exactly you going to write? Like your whole, like you can't move on in a relationship. After I that. think a lot of people do that. Really? I think a lot of people spring the question. Y'all gotta let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Would you spring the question and not ask your partner about it first? Mad people do that shit. You're Mad right. People. But look, but look, what happens when that person says no? How does I've a heard relationship? It how does the relationship even progress listen, after that? Listen, I've heard people who said yes, and then they tell all their girlfriends about how they wish they said no. Or even worse, a couple months down the line, I say a couple months, you get divorced. Yeah. You know, shit is, it's real, it's yeah. real. So you it's wind better. up shouting out mad cash. Anyway, listen, I'm going to tell you one of my reasons. <laughs> okay, tell us about it, tell us about it. I don't move on anybody else's time. I have to say it heard again. That. I don't move on anybody else's time besides mine. And now that we are in a partnership, it's our time. So with that being said, just because you want me to get married, I'm not just saying you as a viewer, I'm just saying hypothetically, generally. Yeah. If someone else wants me to get married. We don't care. Yeah. No offense. No offense. Like, don't take that I love personally. You. I love you still. Right. Bro. But it's not gonna change what this is, cause well, what, and, and it, what does that do for the other person? Like, oh, they're married now. Okay, I feel happier about life. Well, I mean, okay, so that leads into one of my reasons, which is because I don't follow what others' expectations are of me. And I think that that comes in a country where there's all of these traditions right. around what you're supposed to do. Like you are supposed to go to college, you're supposed to get a job, and then you go and get a house and you get a family and you have kids and a dog and you do that and that's your, that's what you do and that's what you do. Right. And for me, I've never been somebody who's particularly swayed by expectations and traditions of what other people think is right. right. And so when it came to my relationship, it's the thing that makes sense for me. I'm moving off of what feels right organically, not what you think I should be doing with my life. You, you know what? That never made me happy at the end of the day. Ooh. For real. For real. So. Uh, Facts. And all right, so another point I was okay. like, you know what? Talk about it. 
Weddings are expensive. <laughs> so expensive. Weddings are super expensive. So me being a person an entrepreneur ninja that I am, <laughs> see how I did it? See that? See that? I'm like, yo, all right. Mom, dad, if y'all want me to do that so bad, you know, I'm gonna get 20 you? racks on yes, it. And I'll make a business. How about right. That? Right, right. Right, and so that's the other thing is that I think a lot of times people put themselves in a compromised position to live up to somebody else's expectations of them. Mm. They, they do something that is for somebody else's approval rather than what they really want to be doing with themselves. And what Ninja and I really want to be doing with ourselves is building businesses and conquering the world. I don't know about conquering the world. That's Duh! Cool. That's cool. That sounds a little... Uh, no, but for real. Dictator. But for real, but for real. Ish. Not for real though. It's like, I, I, I've had many conversations with people where they're like, man, I gotta spend $30,000 on my wedding. And it's like, that's a small loan. Yeah. That's a loan, that's the loan you take out to start a business. And you're but spending not, for I would not, and, and to each his own, I would spend yeah. 30 racks on a wedding. When you got 3 million racks in the bank. Boom. Oh! And then we're spending more than 30 racks nice. on the wedding. <laughs> and, right, right, fast. Right, exactly. And then, you know, we also just, just another testament, we just got like a bucket list of things that we want to do for yeah, us. Yeah, you know definitely. Saying? Like, and we're not, and we haven't capped out yet. So it's like, we still got mad shit to do. Yeah. And it's just like, yo, yeah, we definitely, you know, talk about it. We want it to happen someday. It's not like, you know, we don't want it to happen, but, there's a time and place for everything. Definitely. And, you know, we have individual goals and we have goals in our partnership. You know, those those come first. And there are goals and everybody else doesn't have to worry about them. For sure. And if you want somebody to get married just off the strength, it's, it's kind of weird. I think it's kind of weird. It's what everybody's doing, y'all. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I ain't cool. I'm weird as fuck. <laughs> I'm not cool. I think another point for me personally was um, uh, discovering, like, releasing the expectation, like I talked about before, the expectation that other people place upon you, releasing that within myself. Like, being like, I don't have to operate under what other people tell me to do. We make the rules. And so we're at a place where it's like, when we feel right that it's in our relationship, it's gonna happen no doubt and we will talk about it and we will communicate about it the whole way i recommend you to communicate with your partner about how both of y'all feel and come to an agreement about it if that means like setting a time or if that means like making plans around it but saying it's in the future or whatever that means right. communication is the thing that works for the two of us that's what i would say Ooh. That's good. It's communication, yo, That's at good. the end of the day. If you feel a type of way, talk about it. Speak on it. Let the other person know. Right. So you don't get that feeling caught up inside of you, and y'all can be on the same page. Right. Plus, a piece of paper doesn't dictate, like, the love that I have for another individual. I want I want the wedding to be monumental. Ooh. Therefore... Ooh. I need to make sure that the bag is secured mm. so we could do it mm. up grande. Mm. Major. Okay. This is all our opinions on all of this stuff, Sorry. right? So <laughs> that shouldn't change your decision about how you do stuff in your relationship and your opinion about marriage and when it should happen and all of that stuff this is just our decisions that we've made that yeah. we've talked about yeah. extensively yeah and that we feel entitled to because we make the rules he you knows. just teacher me bruh <laughs> did i you just did why the teacher uh, how they like had the class finish the sentence for them oh, and it's like yeah. so you carry the one and you get you just teach me. Oh. Anyway. You knew the answer. We make the rules. So yeah, that's pretty much like why we haven't gotten married yet. But look, we're really transparent with everything, all the decisions that we make. And we're happy when people ask us about it because we're very confident and secure in these decisions that we've 
decided upon. Right. And we're happy to hear, like, if y'all have anything that you want to ask us, we will answer you. Right. You put it in the comments, we will give you a genuine answer about right. it. So let us know. Make sure that you hit that comment section. Yeah. Tell your friends about Ninja in the Rose. Yeah. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Yeah, and so subscribe. You, wait, I was going to finish the notification bell. Go ahead, babe. Because... If you don't hit the notification bell, you won't see the videos. They won't they won't come to your inbox. You need it live in your inbox. And subscribe. And subscribe. Thanks. Much love. Peace guys. Ninja in the road. Hey. Yeah.